Hi. Hello there. Hi. I work for the Harris and uh, Waltz campaign. I want to take it out. Take it out. No, I'm gonna leave it there because. No, you're not gonna leave it there. Oh, why? Because I can't stand them. Do you not support tampons in men's bathrooms? No, I don't support tampons in men's bathrooms. Why? Because tampons are for women. Where are they gonna stick it up their ass? Get it the fuck out of here! Well, Get it out of my property! It looks good there though. Wait, don't hurt! Don't touch my sign! That's my sign! I don't give a shit! They're a bunch of fucking communists! You didn't address me by my pronouns! What are you, a he and she? Fucking transgender is what you are! I'm yeah. two spirit! <laughs> well there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper. Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Kim, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so today is the third year anniversary of the botch Afghanistan that killed 13 servicemen. And Mr. Trump goes out there and pays the respects. But you notice who's not there? Mr. Biden. Mr. Biden, what are you doing? What are you doing, sir? Oh, oh, you're on vacation again. Okay. If you're on vacation, who is running the country? Is it this one here? Kamala? <laughs> so Miss Kamala wants to be a leader but doesn't want to take no responsibility of nothing. Nothing's her fault. It's always somebody else's fault. The sign of a true leader always takes the blame and never takes the fame. But you see, the Democrats, led by uh, uh, Kamala, everything is good about her administration. She says she's done it. Bidenomics is the best. Bidenomics is working. Last we created 187,000 new jobs. America's economy is strong. And then now she want to fix Bidenomics. A loaf of bread cost 50% more today than it did before the pandemic. Ground beef is up almost 50%. I'm Donald Trump and I approve this message. Make that make sense. The border or the border is safe and secure. She says, you're confident this border is secure. We have a secure border. Now she wants to tighten up on the border. Our administration worked on the most significant border security bill in decades. Some of the most conservative Republicans in Washington, D.C. supported the bill. Even the Border Patrol endorsed it. It was all set to pass. But at the last minute, Trump directed his allies in the Senate to vote it down. Right. 
like what? Yeah. So yeah, leadership is a sign of a person who takes the blame, but not the fame. So yeah, on other good news, we have Mr. Robert Kennedy Jr. suspend his candidacy and he's going to go on the campaign trail with Trump. We were the party of labor, of the working class. The Democrats were the party of government transparency and the champion of the environment. Our party was the bulwark against big money interests and corporate power. True to its name, it was the party of democracy. As you know, I left that party in October because it had departed so dramatically from the core values that I grew up with. It had become the party of war, censorship, corruption, big pharma, big tech, big ag, and big money. When it abandoned democracy by canceling the primary to conceal the cognitive decline of the sitting president. Yeah, big news, big news there. The Democrats underestimated Mr. Kennedy. They did everything to get him off the ballots. They sued him. They didn't want him run against Biden, so he had to go third party. This is a part of democracy. You see how they treat a Kennedy. When you think of the word Kennedy, you think of Camelot and the old school Democrats. Now, this guy himself sees that the Democrat Party of today is not the Democrat Party of his uncle or his father. Totally different. Now, of course, we don't agree 100% with everything that Kennedy endorsed, but he is showing that he's willing to work across the aisle unlike the Democrats. The Democrats are stern, hard. If it's not about abortions or trans rights, they don't want to hear it. Or the climate change, they don't want to hear it. But you see that Trump is malleable. Uh, Kennedy is also, he'll work across the aisles. We, all, we also have another big news that just came out today. We as Americans must stand together to reject this anti-freedom culture of political retaliation and abuse of power. We can't allow our country to be destroyed by politicians who will put their own power ahead of the interests of the American people, our freedom, and our future. I am proud to stand here before you today, whether you're a Democrat, a Republican, or an Independent, if you love our country, as I do, if you cherish peace and freedom, as we do, I invite you to join me in doing all that we can to save our country and elect President Donald J. Trump and send him back to the White House to do the tough work of saving our country and serving the people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Not only that he has Robert Kennedy to endorse him, he have Tulsa Gabbard, and we also heard that Jill Stein and Cornell West, two more, they're going to drop the candidacy and roll with MAGA. Now, what they got to say about the Democrat Party? It's a bunch of weirdos. Yep, so the Democrats misjudge RFK. RFK Try to play along. You know, he believed in democracy. But you see the Biden administration did everything to get this guy off the ballots. They sued him. He had to go and get like 100,000 signatures in two weeks or something just to be eligible in certain states. And the worst part about it, he's a Kennedy. And he, too, was denied Secret Service. Biden administration did not sign off on the Secret Service detail for Mr. Kennedy. This guy, his his dad was shot in a kitchen. His uncle got his head parted off. And this is the same time that Trump almost got himself a nice haircut. But 
they didn't give this guy a secret service detail. So you know he's pissed. You know he's pissed. So, you know, he's going to break ranks with the Democrat Party. And, you know, he's going to side with uh, with MAGA, which is a good move. Now, a lot of Democrats are saying, well, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's only RFK. It's only one or two points. It's going to be a close race already. And every count, every vote count. If you got Jill Stein, Cornell West, and RFK to move over to the Trump campaign, again, two or three more points ain't going to hurt. It's not going to hurt. It's going to hurt you, Kamala. It's going to hurt you. You're supposed to be the party of inclusion, and you, you shut out one of the biggest names out here, Kennedy. You shut him out. Wow. And the other black man, a true FBA, Cornell West, who've been saying this for the longest. And we have people like Charlemagne the God or, or Ricky Smiley, Steve Harvey, DL Hughley. They will not vote for that black man. He have more credibility than Kamala, but they'll vote for Kamala over a black man, Cornell West. So you already know this is flawed. Anyway, that's my thoughts for today. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you Democrats, get your ass off my lawn. <laughs>